Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to multiply monomials. Okay, so for the first page, I want you to follow along with me, and then there'll be some problems for you to uh, try on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so the rule is pretty simple when, when you multiply um, monomials, and here it is. It says when you multiply two powers having the same base, okay, you add the exponents. All right, so down here, there's a good example. We have b to the fourth times b to the third. So the, the bases are both b's. So the rule is you add the exponents. So this would equal b to the four plus third power, which really equals b to the seventh power. So here we have x to the y power times x to the z power. All right, again, the bases are the same, they're x's. So it's just gonna be x to the y plus z power. Now this one's a little more complex. Okay, our first monomial is 5x to the seventh, and then we have 3x to the fourth. So we have five and three. So you just multiply those numbers like they're regular numbers. So five times three is 15. And then we have x to the seventh uh, and x to the fourth. And again, they have the same basis, so it's gonna be x to the seven plus four, which is 11th. All right, now for this one, we have a rectangle and we wanna find the area. So again, to find the area, you have to do area equals length times width. And we know our length is x squared y cubed. And we know our width is x to the sixth and y to the fourth. So we're gonna first multiply x squared times x to the sixth because they have the same basis. So that's going to be x to the 8th, because 2 plus 6 gives you 8. And then we have the y cubed and y to the 4th. Uh, again, they share a common base of a y. So that's going to be y to the 3 plus 4, which is 7. And there it is. All right. So now that you understand how to multiply monomials, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play. And you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do with these practice problems, okay? So r to the fourth times r to the fifth, that would be r to the ninth. Again, we have the same basis of r, right? So you need to add the exponents. Four plus five gives you nine. Here we have p to the sixth times p to the eighth times p squared. And again, all three have the same base of p. So it's gonna be p to the uh, two plus eight is 10, plus six is 16th power. Here we have uh, 5x squared y cubed uh, times negative 8x to the seventh y to the fourth. So 5 times negative 8 will give you negative 40. And then x squared times x to the seventh would be x to the ninth. And then y cubed times y to the fourth would give you y to the seventh power. And this one, again, we want to find the area of the rectangle. So again, area equals length times width. And we know our length is 4x to the seventh. And we know our width is 5x to the fourth. So four times five gives you 20. And then x to the seventh times x to the fourth gives you x to the 11th. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?